Fat percentage measurement just to see if I'm uh, worse than ever. Yeah, <laughs> Digital. It's gonna flex and relax. The triceps. See there. Flex. The back. See. Back. It's the most I think. Or yeah. There was not so much on the arms. So here's the result. 11.6. It might it might be a bit higher in reality, but it doesn't matter. It's it, okay to be a little corona fat. It's <laughs> not <a> corona <laughs> fat, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You, you are in great it's in great shape. They're complaining here that I'm small and fat and everything. So the fat meter says. <laughs> it's good. Uh, it's not that bad. No, it's very good. You have uh, increased size also. Yeah. Since it's increased size, you need to eat. You need to eat more and more. Yeah. All the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. It's the only way. Okay. Yeah. Or a late leaven eating. I tried to cook 500 grams of rice, and maybe 800 grams of minced meat, uh, and, uh, and six, no, 300 grams of chicken. And some protein powder. Just to breakfast, some protein powder, and oatmeal and banana or something for breakfast. Just adding maybe a little bit fat through the day. Yeah, that's what I feel too. It's uh, the fat, uh, not too high when the carbs are high. No, not too high, but just a little. Maybe a uh, teaspoon of peanut butter. Yeah, or something. Yeah. you need some. It's yeah. Just by the end, if you go carbs and protein, in the end before a show, you need to cut out the fat. Yeah, be really hard. But if you go low carb, more fat, then that's another story. They have to rework up now, Mimi Studio. Tommy can uh, talk about it. It's his own brand. He, he knows best what this is. This is uh, EAA, BCA glutamine, betanine, anhydrous, and some minerals. Very good pre, during workout. Because you need the essential amino acids if you want to build muscle right now. The BCA, it's not enough. The BCA is only three of the nine essential amino acids. So he's so big, so it takes a little bit extra for him. Two scoops. And this is 19 ingredients with a pre-workout, which will kick in now. So you're gonna be fire up. You're gonna do some extra sets for you. Extra and sets. And here also, uh, he forgot to take yesterday, so we take a little <laughs> bit more today. <laughs> That'll be fine. Did you can see? That picture here is of Tommy when he competed uh, back in the days. <laughs> so it's super. Uh, this is amino hit, amino high intensity training. This is super hit, super high intensity training. It's made for people like uh, Knut and people who train hard, but also regular people. That's everyone. Everyone wants to do it hardcore. <laughs> This is uh, just talking about the protein. It's a five protein blend. It's two percent the protein. So this also we sell in Norway. It's the best seller actually. And uh, you get three fast protein for whey. You get one uh, medium from egg and slow from casein, which is better for the protein synthesized. So you absorb protein over time and you just go in. Let me add Somebody uh, comment that real food is best. Um, yes, 100%. Real food is the best. You need the calories from real food. This That's is a supplement that you... Yeah. 
add to your real food. That's how it should be. So when I was at my biggest, 141 kilo, I used to eat uh, one kilo rice and measure it up before cooking. So it was maybe the double, two kilo rice. And uh, like Knut also, he's eating a lot of uh, the meat. A lot of rice and meat. Chicken. <laughs> Tommy had chicken as well. Tommy was um, competing in Arnold Classic in Mr. Olympia back close to 2000, wasn't it? Like 2002, 2002, 2002 3. 3. 141 kilos. Yeah, well, let's see if we can find a picture. There's probably some. Here you can see some pictures. Yeah. That, what, what year is this? This is uh, 2002, just the day after Night of the Champion. That's in New York, I think. Yeah. Isn't that New York Pro now? New York, it used to be in Beacon Theatre in uh, Broadway. This yeah. also taken backstage. Uh, so I, I guess I weigh at this picture by my 117, and maybe this is uh, the day after, so I probably weigh over 120. Yeah, so in shape, about 117 kilos. Yeah. The heaviest weight on stage was 126, but then the shape was not as good as in the picture. Yeah. But it was still good. That's just a little bit. Closer. <laughs> that's, that's good. Marcus won that one. Was it 2002? Yeah. Marcus Rule won, uh, wasn't that that year, or was it 2001? I think Marcus Rule won NATO Champions 2001, yeah. not 2002. I could be in Matarosso and uh, Ernie Taylor. Yeah. What's your height? Uh, I'm uh, 178. That's 5'9", 5'10". Yeah. Five nine or five ten, I think. Yeah. One hundred seventy-eight centimeters. Uh, and I competed uh, with uh, Dexter Jackson. I competed with Chris Comer. Those guys from that generation. These, these guys, a lot of them are probably a bit younger, so they don't remember Cormier. No. But they remember and Dexter because Dexter because he's com yeah. still competing. <laughs> of course, Coleman. Everyone you say. It's a lot of fun. That's the big boys, that's... I remember seeing that. Yeah. So that's... What's uh, Tommy's thoughts on training two times a day? Two times a day? Training twice a day? Well, it could be good for a while. Because you can take advantage of the window when you train. So if you want to really gain size, you can do carb drink before, during, and then protein shakes, carbs after training, twice a day. But I train sometimes twice a day, but mostly I train five times a week. But for a while it's good, but then uh, maybe you should go back then to once a day, but that's five times or something. Yeah. That, 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 that yeah. is the plan, it's not... Uh... It's not for doing more than maybe four weeks max and then go back to... Because if you look at the marathon runner, he's thin. And a sprinter, he's very uh, muscular and he train, uh, train doesn't uh, do a workout for hours and hours. That's true. Like, uh, I'm a little bit old school like Dorian. He trained less, but he gained the most. So, but again, uh, you can endure yourself easy. So. Uh, uh, you should just uh, listen to your body, be honest to yourself, and uh, if you want to gain muscle fast, then you of course have to train heavy, but not try to endure yourself. Yeah, in, the in reps between uh, down to 6 to 8 and maybe up to 12, yeah. it's very good. Then you stimuli, stimulate the type 2 fi fibers, or type 2 X, which grows the most. most. Yeah, that's the most uh, explosive yeah, fibers. Yeah, yeah. So, if, you, uh, if you go to a higher rep range, it will be more the slower, uh, yeah. slower muscle fibers, and they don't grow that much. But yeah, that, as you said, if you do it over too much time, it can be just over training into like, it's too much. Well, it's good for a while. But uh, like I see it, it's like uh, hitting a nail when you do a set. 
if you do, let's say you do bench press, and how many sets should you do? Well, it depends how hard you train. Like you have a nail, you hit it once, twice, boom, and it's down. Why do another set? If you just train uh, not so hard, then you need more sets. If you do like Dorian, there's the warm up and then hit it hard, it's done. It goes to the next exercise. So that's how you should think about how many sets do I need. But of course, there is principle like FST7, seven, seven sets, shorter breaks. So uh, you should also always study about this so uh, you have your briefcase with your knowledge. Learn, I still learn. You need to learn. We were learning all of us. But you, you can see there's some things will always work. Putting yeah, in the effort, yeah, yeah. that works. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of top level bodybuilders uh, that has done different things. As you see, Dorian is yeah, yeah. doing less, less sets, but he's going in really hard when he's first going. And you have they feel he is doing more volume, not yeah. that hard every set. Like both and Ronnie are, also did more volume. He, did he probably the biggest guy ever. But he did both volume and yeah, yeah, <laughs> hard set. <laughs> so that's the difference. So there's not only one thing that works. It seems no. like more things are working. One thing they all do is put in the effort. Yeah. The, the, the top level guys, they always put in the effort even if they're yeah. doing High volume, low volume, with high intensity, they're always putting in the work really hard. That's the thing they have in common. I, I used to see it when I was backstage competing with guys, maybe you don't know all the guys, but Ken Leron, Ronnie, all these guys backstage, uh, Jay Cutler, they were sitting backstage and they were so focused to going on stage pre and uh, pre judging. It was like a war for them almost. Yeah. But then after the pre-judging, it came to the finals hours later. They always loosen up, we talk more and... Because it meant so much for them, it was 12 weeks dieting and uh, going in to win. And back then we had a lot of contracts on uh, uh, magazines that paid us. So we uh, were uh, thinking about uh, also the money, getting more money, placing better and financially it was better. So oh, if you place better, you earn more money, you can... Go in harder. You have for food. You have so today is more price money. That's one yeah, thing yeah, yeah. in the top level competition. But it's more about social media than magazine. Yeah, social magazine. media is taking over. Yeah, it's taking over everything. So you make your own story. You have to make everything on your own. <laughs> that, that's what I'm doing right there. <laughs> My social medias. Question is question. Any questions? We can try to answer. Dorian, he said uh, consistently, probably the most important. In training with he said consistency is probably the most important in training yeah, of course yeah consistency but some people who don't make progress may be training too much also and not have so much intensity in the same how much do you weigh now around 112 around him as well What's his name? Tommy Torvilsen. Uh, Tommy Torvilsen. Yes. Now, does he eat junk food? And what is his opinion on refined sugar? Well, uh, healthy eating is always good. So, when I competed back then, I used to eat very healthy during the week, and then Saturday, after five or six in the evening, I ate a little bit what I wanted. And then when it gets closer to the show, you start uh, really three, four weeks before the show, if you need to get down, you start to cut out uh, more of the cheat uh, meals, maybe go clean meal, like just more rice, chicken. But I told my athletes, which I'm coaching now, the cheat day, you should weigh yourself in the morning, Saturday morning. And if you eat in the evening, by Monday, you shouldn't weigh more Monday than you were weighing on uh, Saturday, Saturday, because morning, yeah. then uh, you may struggle to lose more weight the next following week. Yeah, so what he's saying is, if you eat too much Saturday, you're, <laughs> you won't lose the weight until Monday. It doesn't yeah. matter, you can diet the whole week, but you ate too much in the weekend. But it all uh, is individual, because some people can eat a little bit more and get away with it, and some people have less uh, 
of uh, fat burning uh, for the body so they need to eat less I had um, the last <laughs> diet I, I tried to stop having the, the, the extra meals in the I had like uh, 10 burgers in the meal once after I guess the parents we had uh, went to McDonald's and I starved I <laughs> took uh, four or five big burgers and then six small burgers oh Jesus Christ <laughs> I would have uh, like 10 kilos up <laughs> next yeah. week so no pizza no no pizza in competition prep well you could you could eat some pizza in competition prep just try to take it a little bit on Saturday night yeah. you don't have to eat three pizzas maybe just uh, half a pizza or yeah. one small pizza that's the problem <laughs> like one like one full big pizza can be 2000 calories extra yeah that's that might be a little bit too much and it's a lot of salt to weigh but sometimes in the off season if you have problem gaining weight you may have to throw in some junk food almost daily because yeah, that's, that's the only way you can that's get different. it up yeah different yeah that's different from off season you can add you can always add some off season if you need to uh, gain weight as long as you're not getting too fat yeah but I, I had too much pizza during Corona. And that's why most once a day. That was the only food I had for a few days. But I was lazy, just sitting in my computer chair, and I didn't make food. So I was just okay. We have to, we need to eat today, yeah. so I need to order some. At least you have some food. Encouraging Knut to eat burgers and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing. I'm gonna follow him. Uh, I'm gonna uh, hook myself up to the camera so I, oh, I can also see him. So I'm gonna call him every time. <laughs> <laughs> Stop beating me. <laughs> <laughs>